What's up, News Rogue? We are in D.C. and I'm in front of where the president probably isn't right now. And we had the privilege of going to Not the White House Correspondents' Dinner and I interviewed Sam B., Jake Tapper, Van Jones, and a bunch of other comedians and celebrities. Check it out. Also, um, we had to film in vertical, so sorry. Deal with it. We are out of the office and we are into the streets. My amazing team, researcher, producer, comedy writer. Obviously, we have an administration that's pretty um, adversarial when it comes to the media and they don't like facts. This event here is to celebrate actual news, real news. By the way, it's not a red carpet. A red carpet is an alternative fact. That is a purple carpet. Thank uh, you. Once again, another example of a press lie. Okay, bye. We know that this event is in part because um, the Grope Tornado can't take a joke. Mm -hmm. So what is your advice to the hate Twinkie about how to take a joke? Grope Tornado. I think it, when you are a joke, I can't help you take a joke. How to take a joke. Um, right up the ass, I always say. The fact that he has no self-deprecation, presents no joy, and clearly has never smiled or laughed, um, leads me to believe that he can't bash the press if he's hanging out with them. Well, well, he laughs just at other people's expenses. If you're trying to not have anyone tell a joke about you, that's just like such a frustrating way to live life. Everyone has something that can be laughed at. If I were going to advise Donald Trump on anything, I wouldn't start with taking a joke. <laughs> I would say, you know, take a class on governance, take a class on democracy, take a class on, you know, etiquette, take a class on how not to be a jerk. A question about journalism. I know this is a, a, a fundraiser also to raise money for the Committee to Protect Journalists. Uh, how do we protect journalists? Should we just build a wall around us? I, journalists have been in pens more recently than ever before. <laughs> we are constructing a wall around you right now. We're never going to let you leave. Steve Bannon and other people in the Trump administration have called the media the opposition party. Are you being pushed to take sort of an adversarial role? Well, we are supposed to be in an adversarial role always, whether it's Obama or Trump or whomever. I don't think that their problem is necessarily with the media. I think their problem is often with the facts the media are reporting. If you didn't know, Nadine is the researcher on uh, Newsbrook's comedy channel because even though we're comedy, every single one of our pieces is fact-based and Nadine helps us get there. So Nadine, what is the secret to being a kick-ass researcher? It's making sure to be really, really organized. I gotta like know what you're looking for and go for it and then make sure that you have it all organized and sorted out. Um, it makes the jokes funnier, I think, when we have something that's actually true, it's fact-based, It's it makes reality set in a little bit more. Whereas I make up my own reality. That's it. So that's why I'm here to help. She reels me in. My two pieces of advice for a young journalist are, one, there's gonna be a lot of rejection. Don't take it personally. Know that and just accept that it's part of the deal. The second thing is learn how to write. Learn how to write. Everybody wants to be on TV or they want to be in radio or they want to be a star newspaper editor or writer. No matter what, the most important thing is learn how to write. How have you been coping with the last hundred days of Trump and what's your advice to young folks and young journalists? Just like take breaks because when you take breaks you actually come out of the vortex and like the intensity of that of the circus. And when you come Yoga back in it, yes, or just like airplane mode. Let me ask you, uh, it's 100 days of Trump today. Can you name 100 other people you'd rather have as president than Trump? Michelle Obama, Lady Gaga, Jon Stewart. I could do Sam B also. I could do Jessica Williams. It sounds like I could do things with them, but I'm saying I could be okay with them being in charge of yes. things. Who would you most like to impersonate if you were still on SNL oh at this my point? God. Um, it's so hard. There's so few women in this. <laughs> in this uh, of the three? I mean, we'd have to just all impersonate Betsy DeVos, I guess, at the end of the day, because that's really our option, right? You'd make a great Betsy. I mean, yeah. I say that in the best way Thank possible. You, Trump gets an F minus so far. I mean, he hasn't even delivered for his own constituents on anything. Um, but I think the resistance gets like a B plus. Listen, it's only been 100 days of dealing with this guy. And the airport defenses work, the Muslim ban has been held up in the courts, the women's marches have changed you know, the face of public protest, and we're just getting started. You don't get a chance to vote for anybody for almost another two years, so what you do get a chance to do is flood every town hall and switchboard that you can. We've been doing that, we've been growing, I think we're going to be alright. 
thank you for supporting comedy ventures like Newsbroke. Please subscribe to our YouTube page. Bye. Bye. Watch Newsbroke on AJ Plus. What are you doing? And this is our tea party of the left. It's called the Orchada Armada. Wanted to give you a pin. Uh, we so believe much. in resistance, rebellion, and cinnamon. Oh, I believe in those things. Hell yeah. Have you had a, do you like Orchada? I do. I love it. It's so delicious. Such a pleasure. Oh my god. Thank you for this event. Thank you.